Hey everybody, it's your girl PT Eddie here. This week we're going to be talking about going back to school. And so, I told you guys in the video that I put up last week that I'm actually going to be going back to school. Um, I start this coming Monday. And I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit stressed about it. So I've been out of school for about a year at this point. I graduated in May of 2016. And at the beginning of this whole process of me deciding to become a graduate assistant and going back to school, I guess I didn't really think about the fact that there was grad school attached to graduate assistant. So I've always been pretty good at school. It's not something that came difficult to me. But I was sitting in an orientation last Sunday, and as I was sitting there, and they kept talking about the course load, I was like, what did I do? Like, <laughs> I was sitting there, and I looked over at my friend, because I've got another girl going through the program that I'm in with me, that actually also works at Greenville, and we're going to be taking classes together. We both kind of looked at each other, and we were just like, he just said that there was going to be 300 pages to read a week. I don't think I ever had that much to read in my undergrad. And so that was kind of the eye-opening bit of like what it's actually going to look like going to grad school. And so as I was just thinking about all of the things that the guy was talking about, I started thinking back to how I was actually thinking about returning to a grad school program, but it was through this place called Kilns College. and the program that I was looking at, it was a year-long intensive program. You could do it in person or online. And If you did it online, you'd have to come on campus for a couple weeks. But it was a Master's of Social Justice. And that's something that I'm incredibly interested in. I'll talk about books later on that have helped me understand what it means to do work in social justice. Just a peek on a book review that will be coming later. We've got The Myth of Equality. I'd definitely check it out. It's actually written by one of the co-founders of Kilns College. And I was thinking about how excited I was about the prospect of going back to school for that. And then I thought about how I wasn't super excited about the program that I'm currently in. So the program that I'm in isn't one that I chose. It was attached to the graduate assistant position that I'm currently in. And so the program is College Student Personnel Administration, which I don't like telling people because it's a mouthful and I don't fully know how to explain it. So I usually just tell people that I'm getting a Master's of Science in Education because that's what this program falls under. There's a gnat in here and it's really, really annoying. So I'm sitting in this orientation listening to a couple of professors and then a panel of students who are in their second year in the program, which is the final year. It's only a two-year program to get the degree. And like I was somewhat interested, but I'm not someone that it's my focus to work in programs like student success or admissions. I really like the position that I'm in. It's I'm the graduate assistant of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, if you didn't watch the last video. And so I'll be helping push the campus towards what it looks like to be actively diverse and inclusive to all people. But a lot of the classes that I'll be taking don't focus on that. I've started doing some of the homework this in the past couple days and I'm surprised at how much it talks about what it means to be just in a, in a university. And so a lot of the first reading actually talked a lot about how when you talk to people about student success, you have to talk about it in a frame that they will understand, which means knowing their background and story, and if they come from like the privileged group or in what we would consider like a marginalized or minority group. And so I was just sitting there thinking, well, maybe this is something that I'll actually be interested in. I wasn't I was told that there was a focus on social justice and diversity when I was speaking to the program director, but when I saw a lot of the readings for the classes with the exception of diversity in higher education, I was just like, this just sounds like a lot of readings about how to work with students in colleges. And I wasn't super excited about it. 
So while I'm still in this phase of it's kind of difficult for me to do the homework because it's not the subject that I would have chosen, I also know that I want to be, be successful and I want to treat school as something that I am privileged to go to because a lot of people my age don't get the chance to go immediately back to school and have it majority of it paid for. And so I'm trying to be thankful even though I'm not super excited about being back at school for a program that I didn't choose. So I wanted to take just this video to let you know what that was going to look like. I'm not really sure what, how grad school is going to affect this channel. If I'm going to be honest, I'll probably be talking about my studies some on camera, so you'll have to bear with me. I promise to only share the interesting bits, but at the same time, what I think is interesting might not be what you think is interesting. So I'll have to see how that goes. I definitely think that grad school is going to take up quite a bit of my time. And so for that, I will do my best to not let that affect how my uploads go on this channel. I will do my best to continue to create content that I think is enjoyable and hopefully you do as well because no. for me the ultimate goal is to be successful in whatever I've chosen to do and so right now that means being a competent graduate assistant in the office that I'm in it means being a really successful student which means I'm really gonna have to buckle down and stop procrastinating as much like I did when I was in my undergrad and that means continuing to upload content that I think is enjoyable and so that's those are my three main goals for the next nine months before summer hits so I hope that you guys will be patient with me as I figure out scheduling and what that's gonna look like especially for this channel I will do my best to continue putting out content that is quality and that I think is enjoyable like I said be on the lookout for this book review that's gonna be coming out next week and I guess I will see you guys later. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you are a student that's returning to school, how you're feeling for this new year. If you're a grad student like me, let me know how you have prepared yourself mentally to start a new year of grad school. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Pizza Eddie out.